I'm, I'm bribing myself with decaf coffee if I film this first scene. It's just, just the opener. That's Creativity is a corrupt system. Remember that, kids. So I live in Golden, Colorado now, about 20 minutes outside of Denver, and it's the home of Coors Brewery. Interesting note, the Coors Brewery used to have a free tour where they would give three free beers at the end. Pretty good-sized beers, too. And But there's also a college in town, Golden uh, College of Mines, and which, was support, which is reported to be brainier than Harvard. Interesting fact. But unfortunately, the college kids would rush the tour every day around 3 or 4 p.m. because three free beers. And so the course brewery got so fed up with it that now they charge for the tour. Damn, kids. But the cool thing is, is I'm writing again. I'm writing a new novel that I'll release sometime this year, probably around summer. Unfortunately, writing is not fun to film in any way. To begin, how to start. I'm hungry. I should get coffee. Coffee would help me think. But I should write something first, then reward myself with coffee. Coffee and a muffin. Okay, so I need to establish the themes. Maybe banana nut. Are you, are you writing the next great American novel? No, I'm writing a trash novel. Okay, this is what I mean by trash. I don't mean high literature. Okay, this is more for me than the not the usual non-English major. But in English major, we learned about all these writers who wrote with purpose and they shaped history and they took on social issues. And it, and it just, just became seated in my mind that I needed to write something like that. I need to have a purpose behind the novel. It needs to be thought out and... No! Right now I'm writing a novel about which side with the sharpest sticks is gonna win. Let's just say I'm not gonna win a Nobel Prize with this one. You wanna know the difference between a trash novel and a bestseller? Marketing. Put that cookie down. Cookies are for closers. Unfortunately, saying that, my book is unmarketable. It's about a dystopian future after a nuclear fallout, so you'd kind of think it's sci-fi, but it's about a hypothetical crossbreed of talking animals. So it should be fantasy, but there's no magic. So it's not true fantasy, but there's no laser guns in spaceships. So it's not true sci-fi. Why did I do that to myself? Instead of booking agents telling me no, I just shoot my own foot off. But I'm writing again, and that's all that matters. Uh, after college, I went through a dry spell of writing, so it feels really good to be sitting down, working towards a project I know I can release. And I'll release it sometime this summer. Now to talk about that other thing everyone wants to hear about. Have you vomited or peed on yourself lately? Well, joke's on you. I'm not doing any Iron Man races this year. Oh, my coffee's done. I have no serious races this year. Uh, I am planning on doing an Ironman next year, but nothing nothing too crazy this year. I was planning on doing a 100 mile ultra marathon race this year. That was my big goal. Unfortunately, I have an IT band injury right now. The IT band is a super important muscle that runs down your thigh and the pain is usually around your knee. It's a really common injury for people who have a desk job like me. Uh, but I'm working my way through it and it has really helped me focus on strength training. So I've been hitting the gym a bit more if you haven't noticed. Pumping that. Check out the gun show going on over here. Boom. Bang. Firepower. That's about it. I write, exercise, and work. That's pretty much about it here in Colorado. I do explore parts of Colorado when I get the chance. And I'm definitely looking forward to biking certain passes once the snow melts. But uh, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you when my novel's about to come out.